Hello, my dear audience. Welcome to the show, Jack Chow on the East West Show with G and E TV. Entering into the holidays, because Christmas is right in the corner,、uh, we really want to、uh, get prepared about our year-end celebration. There are so many to celebrate. You have Christmas coming. You have the New Year coming. You have even the Chinese New Year coming.、Right. And then,、uh, speaking of Chinese New Year, it is really a moment of a period of a big celebration. And by that, we really have to think about our pocket. So, by that, also I mean, as、uh, well, with limited money versus the tradition, versus the Christ- Christmas and the New Year shopping, the holiday shopping, we have a financial problem to handle, right? Financial issue to handle、mm-hmm. to get some guidance, especially for our young people, young consumers, or young families. I have invited as a special session of discussion about how we want to handle our money during holidays.、Yeah. Right, that's my good friend Steve Hanley, founder and CEO of the Hanley Financial Consulting Group, Consultation Group. And、uh, you, sir, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jack. Good to see you again. All right, I would、uh, say that I'm very, very, very happy that you make yourself back again、mm-hmm. for Christmas shopping guidances. Okay.、Uh, by that, I'm not asking you to say where to buy. Okay. I'm asking you a little comment about Christmas shopping, cr- Christmas shopping. Or holiday shopping as a tradition, as versus American style lifestyle.、Please. Right. The, the traditionally,、um, the shopping、uh, for the Christmas holiday starts the day after Thanksgiving,、mm-hmm. which is known as Black Friday. Starting already. Right. And then it, then the, then they have a new term, which is the following Monday after Thanksgiving, which is called Cyber Monday.、Mm-hmm. But this Christmas. Period is a little is a little different because Christmas falls on a Friday,、mm-hmm. so the kids will get out of school the Friday before, which leaves a whole week of very intense shopping. So yeah,、mm-hmm. people will be out in malls,、mm-hmm. people will be traveling,、mm-hmm. buying food stuff that time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're expecting ex- expecting to see more spending、right. exactly. by by our、uh, by us Americans. Right. Am I right? Right. So、uh-huh. the holiday time period. And I include Christmas and Kwanzaa and、mm. and Hanukkah and everything, everything.、Mm. is an intense period when people sometimes don't budget. Sometimes、mm. they don't. It's very impulsive. I、uh, oh, I see something I want.、Mm. Buy it. Impulsive.、Buy. Very impulsive buying. You see a lot of that because I'm already、buy. there. Wait, or you see,、um, I like to call it misdirected. Where you walk into a store and you say, "I just need to get a pair of shoes," and you walk out with a whole new suit and a tie and shirt and what have you. So you see a lot of that, you know. And also, a lot of it is the psychology of it. You know where stores place things. So you, you know, if you ever notice that they always place the milk in a grocery store in the back of the store,、mm-hmm. so you have to go through the store. And yeah, as long yeah, as you're there, yeah, yeah. you must have picked up a stick. Exactly. Your way. To get to the milk, right? right yeah.、Mm-hmm. So I'm not saying to be a miser, and I'm not saying to be a Scrooge. I'm just、mm-hmm. saying, just kind of be aware of what's going on about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And,、mm-hmm. you know, I hate to use the term, but you should kind of have a budget. You should have an idea、mm-hmm. of what you want to spend. And、um, people spend things on different things. Maybe、mm-hmm. they buy toys for their kids, or they buy special foods, or something that's very traditional for the family. Yeah, you also have to.、Uh, I mean the fact that it bothers me as a show host because I'm、uh, kind of neither rich nor not poor. Right. I can afford whatever I want to 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 to, to buy. However, every single minute I have to watch my own wallet.、Mm-hmm. How much I have there left? How little I have there left? Right. right. So that's the thing. What is the worst condition? Worst scenario is that. If you had the money in the pocket, you could either save or spend it. That's one story. Right. Different story is that you borrow against your credit card. Right. Right. That's debt.、Mm-hmm. Right. And yet, that's almost a tradition for the holiday period. What's your comment about that? That's、part? very true.、Um, it's very simple、um, to pull out your credit card,、mm-hmm. see something that's like. 
uh, especially if it, there's an emotional attachment. If there's something mm -hmm. like you want to buy something mm -hmm. for your child, mm -hmm. as an example, some toy or mm -hmm. some um, gadget, and, and it's very easy. Just pull your credit card out. It's simple. You stick it in that machine. Mm -hmm. It's just numbers. It's not money. Mm -hmm. Remember, you just, just numbers. numbers pop up on the screen and mm -hmm. oh, you sign your name and that's it. Uh -huh. You know, you don't look at like that debt of 15% or 10 whatever it's going to be. It's mm -hmm. going to follow you down the road you know, until you pay it off. So um, you have to be careful. You have to be, you have to think sometimes. Mm -hmm. You have to, I know it's very difficult sometimes, very mm -hmm. difficult. And you see an impulse, you really love that person and you really want them to mm -hmm. have that, mm -hmm. that thing. Maybe you don't put as much debt on it. You're Maybe right. you split right. it. You're Maybe you right. say, I'll pay half in cash, yeah. half <laughs> on a credit right. card, right. something right. like that. And uh, I don't know how you feel about me, I wonder this very moment, my audience might say, hey, Jack is being either too petty-minded yeah. or being counting or kind of a so over-conservative, so on and so forth. I do have the problems is that understanding the following scenarios, right? right. Number one, if you have a certain bills right, in your wallet, you keep on spending till the last dollar, right. you will realize, oh, yeah, I have no money in the pocket, mm -hmm. right? Right. Either you go to the bank or you stop right there, right? That's right. a warning. Right. right. However, when, when using credit card, though, right, you know that you're spending, you fail to accumulate the numbers, how much you spend. Right. Because it's just number. Keep on going and going and going and going till the moment when the bill arrives. Oh my God, looking at the statement, oh, did I spend that much? Yeah. So, comes in as a surprise. Right. Which is too late. So, exactly right. So, how do you recommend uh, to our young people, especially our young people, right. or even the young families, say, newly married with a kid or, yeah. or expecting kids, something like that. Right. They, they, how do you, as a veteran in this business? Well, I'll tell you what, it, it's really tough because mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, credit card, in, the credit card industry focuses in on young people, mm -hmm. either young people in college or young people in their first career job or young people with their first child mm -hmm. or just married. Mm -hmm. So it's very, really, they make it very easy. They send you a credit card in the mail, mm -hmm. you know, um, and they give you an introductory rate. If the normal mm -hmm. credit card mm -hmm. uh, commission, let's see, percentages. Say, you're pre-qualified. You're pre-qualified <laughs> for $2,500 at 10% yeah. interest and mm -hmm. the rest. And it's really simple to spend. And people spend it on really interesting things, like a pack of gum mm -hmm. or something of that nature. Um, and it's really easy to do. But you don't understand mm -hmm. that behind it is all the... the the mathematics of the of the interest that's piling up mm, interest exactly, keeps compounding exactly. mm -hmm. and so i know it it doesn't it sounds miserly to say it but mm -hmm. rough out a budget mm -hmm. people know what their expenses are going to be if you have a young child mm -hmm. you got to be paying for milk you got to be paying for diipers you got to yeah, be paying yeah, for right, right. possibly mm -hmm. daycare mm -hmm. you know you have rent to pay budget for it maybe plan for it maybe mm -hmm. during the year say okay Mm -hmm. We're going to spend $1,000 at Christmas time. That means if we're going to spend $1,000 at Christmas time, we're going to take $80 of my paycheck and we're going to put it, just put it away. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, okay. That type of thing. I know, right. but, it, but it's all impulse. And then it's... But it's hard to do. It's hard to do. Mm -hmm. and it's, but sometimes you have to step back and say, okay, do I really... Should I really do this? And I know that is really hard to do. You've got a child who's standing yeah, there saying, so "Mommy tempting, and Daddy, so I tempting, want." So soliciting. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. and and it it can be tough. And maybe you, sometimes you just do it. I see. I but see. you understand that mm -hmm. that some there down the road they're going to have to pay that back plus interest, and that's. No, no, no. Not only interest is the interest of plus principles. Right. On interest the, that goes into principles. That's right. Right? Right. So if you're talking about 10%, uh, borrowing 1,000, you're right. talking about 1,100. Right. And then another 10% on top of 1,100, right, goes on and on That's and right. on. You're talking about multiplied interest rather than only 10%. Right. Of and, the and $1,000. Yeah. And in the financial world, there's two types of debt. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's good debt. Good debt meaning that I, Jack goes out and buys a house. 
he puts a he goes into debt with a for a, for a million dollar house mm -hmm. well that's good because you're using your debt to buy a house that's going to bring you money in the future yeah and the credit house card uh, is going to go up the house is going up yes right mm -hmm. credit card debt is kind of I would define and it is defined by by experts as bad debt in other words we can't say it's a bad debt great you get something you get instant gratification mm -hmm. I got this pair of shoes mm -hmm. I paid five hundred dollars I got a pair of shoes but that five hundred dollars you put on the credit card now becomes mm -hmm. six hundred mm -hmm. seven hundred mm -hmm. you never quite pay it off yeah, 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 yeah. and people go into the illusion mm -hmm. that if they just pay the minimum they're okay granted if you pay the minimum you still have access to the card up to its limit. Mm -hmm. But it does nothing about paying it off. It is nothing, because that interest continues to And to see, in some cases, they say the, the, the minimum cares only about the interest itself, right. right? You only pay the interest part, and then your principal never, That's right. never wipe it out. OK, my dear audience, today, the purpose of the show, we're talking about the old cliche. It is so old. Older than probably the calendar, yeah, right? Older I'm, than calendar and stuff, yet it is something quite necessary for our young folks. That's why we create this discussion for special, especially for our young folks, young families to consider uh, or take a second consideration when you make a decision to go ahead crazy like mm -hmm. squandering your money. Oh, no, squandering is not a word, just to say go ahead. Yeah with the uh, Christmas or holiday purchase. So with me today is my good friend, Mr. Steve Huntley, founder and the CEO of the um, Huntley Financial Consultation Group. Yeah. And, and he is, I call him, financial specialist. I always turn my problem, uh, not that problem, my question to him, all right? So stay with us. We'll be right back, please. <laughs> 